What up, what up? Just wanted to do a, a video. You see I got the fresh cut. I was doing some research for my for my health class. We have to pick a topic for a paper we have to do, a paper and a presentation. So I was on, uh, what's this website called? PubMed.gov. You can find a bunch of stuff on here about uh, different health-related uh, journal article studies. So these are, you know, scientifically approved journal articles. I ended up searching about squat depth. Now, I was squatting last week. And if you check my Instagram, you'll see a picture last week of me doing some pause squats. And you'll notice I, I get decent depth now. And this, this guy came up to me. Uh, one of the guys I know at the gym, he's a, he's a very nice guy. If he ever sees this, I don't want it to sound like I'm, you know, saying anything bad about him. But he said, hey, man, uh, I don't think you should go that low when you squat because a trainer here told me that if you take any of your joints, now listen, if you take any of your joints below 90 degrees or past 90 degree range, uh, you're putting yourself in, in danger of damaging the joint. So he meant for the bench, he was saying you shouldn't go below when your elbows are at 90. He was saying for the squat, basically everything. So this, there's a lot of problems with, with this trainer, obviously, said to apply something like that to such a wide variety. Say so you don't go below 90 in any joint range is sort of crazy. But basically, I have, I have prior knee complications. I, I had an injury to my knee back in high school. And pro after that, I was squatting, but I wasn't getting good depth. And even before that, I was squatting, I wasn't getting good depth. My knee would always swell up. It would always hurt. Since I've been squatting deeper, my knee has felt a lot better um, overall, day-to-day, -day, walking up steps, whatever I do. And the swelling has uh, doesn't even come up anymore. I don't even get knee swelling anymore. So I let him know that. But I just wanted to look up an article on PubMed. And I found one, and it's called Analysis of the Load on the Knee Joint in Vertebral Column with Changes in Squatting Depth and Weight Load. And what they did was basically, I mean, I haven't read the full article. I'm trying to get it so I can do my presentation on this. But the abstract shows how they, they use some method to assess whether squats with less knee flexion, which would be half or quarter squats, are safer on the musculoskeletal system than deep squats. So it goes into what they did, but basically you'll see at the end of the abstract it says, contrary to commonly voiced concern, deep squats do not contribute increased risk of injury to passive tissue. So that's provided that the technique is learned accurately. So I just thought that was interesting. This seems like a great website. I'm actually going to use it even after this project because it seems like it has a lot of great info um, on things that may might be debated and, and I'm sure there'll be studies that show even contrasting results but it's good to go to something like this and even if I can't get access to the whole article the abstract usually says enough for somebody like me like if I'm not writing a paper just to get knowledge so this is interesting and I'll probably bring it up to the guy because I told him I do further research so um, just thought that was cool. Let you guys know. Just talk about that. Um, I don't know what you guys' opinion is on squatting. Uh, take care, guys.